social networks like Facebook and Twitter are making uh, the consumer have the power when it comes to marketing. They actually decide what's popular. BuzzFeed actually works on this model and we try to get people sharing and evangelizing content as opposed to just receiving the message. So the first ad meeting for the show, I'm sitting around the room, about 20 other producers, and everyone's saying, we gotta have a Facebook page, we gotta have MySpace, they were still saying. And uh, I decided to say, let's, why don't we try to do something different? Um, and what I wanted to do was create our own social network for the show. Because I believe social networks are like uh, playgrounds, like backyard playgrounds. Uh, and the theory here is, if you're a parent, you don't want your kids or your customers playing in someone else's backyard. You want them in your own. You want them where, them where you can speak to them, where you can give them the right snacks, you can make sure they come in on time, and have that communication. And frankly, when they're in someone else's backyard, like Facebook or MySpace or any of the others, you don't have that direct one-on-one -on -one communication. People like to share good stories and stories that they care about, that they have some sort of emotional connection with. And it, I guess it goes without saying, but I, I sometimes feel like all of us, and myself and my company included, forget that a little bit. Um, so I think the, the, sh the mechanisms of sharing, while they are very important, um, are just mechanisms. It, having people create content that they are uh, genuinely invested in and care about um, is, a, is a very important thing, and I think something that we, we realized through, throughout this campaign.